In this homework assignment, we want to evaluate functions. And really, all we have to do is take the value that's inside here and just replace all of the x's and evaluate. Just make sure that you are plugging it into the correct function. This one here is f of 9, so we're going to use this first function. Now, using proper function notation, we're going to replace all of the x's with parentheses because the input value here is 9. So we're going to replace all of these x's with 9, just like that. And then it's a matter of I do the evaluating, do the math. So this gives me 2 times 81 minus 27 plus 1. So we have 100 62 minus 27 plus 1. So when we finish this, this gives us 135 plus 1 is 136. Now, please make sure that you understand that x does not equal 136. f of x does not equal 136. But my function called f evaluated when x equals 9 equals 136. So all we do is plug it in and do the math. So here in number 2, we're using the function called g, and this says to plug it in here where it has x plus 2 over x minus 3. So, instead of the x's, I'm going to replace those with parentheses right now, and I'll go back and fill in the parentheses with the input value here of 5. So just plug that in and do the math. So I get 5 plus 2, which is 7, over 5 minus 3, which is 2, and that's all we can do. So my function called g evaluated for x equals 5 is 7 over 2. I'm just going to keep working through the rest of these. We have f of negative 2, so again, we're just going to plug that in. So 2 parentheses squared minus 3 parentheses plus 1. My input value is negative 2, so I replace what would have been x is with negative 2. So negative 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8. Negative times negative is going to make that a positive 6. And then plus 1, so that equals 15. So there's nothing really new here, just plug in numbers and you evaluate. Just make sure you follow the order of operations. Especially when you get down to something like number 4. Okay. Here in number 4, you have a fraction that you have to plug in. So again, it was 2x squared, so 2 parentheses squared, minus 3x, so minus 3 times parentheses, plus 1. And we're going to replace this with 1 half. Now here, 1 half squared is going to be 1 fourth, so this is 2 times 1 fourth minus 3 times 1 half plus 1. So 2 times a fourth gives us 1 half, and then 3 times 1 half is minus 3 halves plus 1. Now, 1 half minus 3 halves is a negative 2 halves, which just reduces to negative 1. So negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So that means that f evaluated at 1 half is 0. Let's take care of the rest of these. Number 5, g of 8. So rewrite the problem so that you have parentheses instead of the x's. My input value here is 8, so I plug in the 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 minus 3 is 5, and when I finish simplifying this is just 2. So g of 8 is equal to 2. And what about g of 3? Well, again, rewrite this, but instead of the x's, you're going to write parentheses. 
my input value is 3, so I plug in 3 here and here. When I finish this, I end up with 5 divided by 0, which is a problem for us. Because we can't divide by 0. When we do, that means that we are undefined. And what that tells me, and what we should remember, is that you can't plug in a value that's going to make the denominator equal 0. And in this function, g of x, you see that if you plug in 3 here, 3 minus 3 is 0, and that's going to be undefined. So 3 is not even part of the domain for g of x. So this guy's undefined. Number 7. Now see, it switched back to f. So, put those parentheses in because this was 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And we're replacing all of those x's with negative 30. Oh, forgot the square. That was going to be a problem. So here, negative 30 squared is positive 900. This right here gives me a positive 90 and then plus 1. So 2 times 900 is 1800. Plus 90 plus 1 and all together that's 1800. 91. And finally, we have g of negative 9. And g of negative 9, so replace the x's with parentheses, that was x plus 2 over x minus 3. Plug in negative 9, make sure you're very careful about your signs here. I get a negative 7 in the numerator over negative 12 in the denominator. So when I finish simplifying this, this is just a positive 7 over 12. So remember, it's not what g of x equals. This is what g of negative 9 equals.